Hey everyone, it's me, Lauren, with Bold Notion Quilting, and I wanted to take a minute to talk to you about a zero center tape measure. So these are something that a lot of long armors will use <clears throat> either on their leader cloths or on their leveler bar or dead bar or whatever it is that you call the bar that stabilizes your quilt and holds it nice and level for your machine. So I'm going to show you how I put this on and then how I use it so that you know how it might impact your quilting life going forward. So first thing you're going to need is at least one zero center tape measure and then some double sided, some double stick tape. You can just get double stick scotch tape from the dollar store, Walmart, Target, anywhere that you can find it. It works fantastically. So let's go ahead and get this lined up to get it on our bar. So open up your tape, pull out your zero center tape measure. So we have these on boldnotionquilting.com and I have no nails, so getting into this thing is gonna be tricky. There we go. Once you open it up, you're going to see that this tape measure actually has two sides. Okay, one side goes from, let's open it up. <laughs> one side starts at zero in the center and works its way upward, left from zero and right from zero. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and out to the length of your machine. These are, I want to say, 120 inches. They go to 144 inches total, so you can get 72 inches on either side. I have no problem putting these on my 12-foot long arm and getting all the way to the ends of my bars. On a 14-foot long arm, it may not go all the way to the ends of your leaders. So the first thing that you want to do is get out a regular tape measure and find the center of your bar. Now, a lot of us have already mapped the center of our leaders, so you can match that center of your leader with the center of your bar, and that's gonna give you the most accurate kind of fold out, because when you're loading your quilt top, you're gonna put the center of your backing on your leader cloth, and then match up the center of your quilt with that. So go ahead and find the center, whichever way is gonna make most sense for you. I'm gonna match my center with my center marking line on my leader cloth. Okay, and I'm going to put myself a little bit of tape right there in the center. You might want a little pair of scissors if your tape is difficult to peel. This stuff is cool. And I'm just going to mark my center mark. And that's where my zero should be. Now, generally I use a laser level so that I know that it's nice and straight because it'll drive me crazy looking at it crooked. But I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to go from center out. I'm just going to tape it on the center and I'm just going to eyeball it to the end of the bar. As level as I can get it. Press that on nice and good. Make sure that your tape is on there. And then we'll do it on the other side. Okay, you can see my red tape right here. See this red line? That's not a leader grip. See how it's rolling with my bar? That is the center of my pole. And I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to tape it down as level as I can get it. You can pivot on your um, thumb if you need to to hold it down. And then just try to get it on there. I love the idea of the laser level because quite frankly it's a lot easier to keep it straight. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off my tape on the end. Okay, now if your double stick tape requires you to P 
peel a layer off. You'll want to do that now. Mine requires me to peel a layer off, which is totally fine. I really wanted you to see the red so you could see it in the video. So now that everything is secured on, I'm just going to peel that red layer off and expose my double stick tape. I'm going to leave the one in the center on. All right. So now you can still see my center marking line. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my tape measure and make sure that it doesn't go up into the hundreds. Okay. I want to use the side that is showing me from 0 to 72. So I'm going to take my middle marking tape and make sure it's exposed and it's sticky. And I'm going to line up that 0 with my center marking line here as best as I can. Okay. Then I'm going to take this tape measure and I'm going to go from right to left and left to right. And I'm going to pull it all the way across to the edge of my bars as level as I can make it. I like using these fabric zero center tape measures because I've had metal ones um, on my machine that I've purchased from different places and they've actually caught on my quilts from time to time. And that's scary when you think it's going to rip a hole. So we're good from zero out. Our numbers are going up and they're nice and big prints which I love. And again, I just hold my tape out, try to keep it nice and level, and then stick it down when you get to where you need to go. Now, if you were successful in measuring that center, okay, your numbers on either end are going to line up. My numbers on my left end at 45, and my numbers on my right end at 45. This is this is only an eight foot quilting frame, so I didn't expect it to go all the way, but I wanted to be sure to equip it with the tape measure so I could get that stuck on there nice and good. Then you're just going to cut the ends. If you want, you can tape the ends down. The whole purpose of using this tape measure is so that I can have a line of sight at the 34 inches and I know that as I advance I'm going to keep this side even with my 34 inches okay and on the other side I'm going to do the same thing where it lines up and this one happens to be on 33 so my quilt back isn't completely center with my leaders but that's not the biggest problem in the world it's no big deal I moved it over so I could do a little bit of uh, quilting on the side here so now I know that as I advance my quilt I'm going to keep it in line with my 34 and I'm going to keep it in line with my 33. Now if you need a good way to measure that to remind yourself I often will just stick a post-it note right in front of the line so I know that as I advance that the side of my quilt should line up with that line that I put my post-it note on. But that is how you use a zero center tape measure. Some people will put these tape measures and staple them to their leaders on the top and the leaders on the bottom so that when you're loading your quilt you load your backing in the same space from left to right and also on the top and then you line up your quilt with that same space as well. So the biggest reason why you might want to put the zero center tape measures on your leaders and your bar is so that you can get a handle of where your quilt is at from the center out. Okay, And that's if you want to have everything exactly perfectly just right but make sure that as you're putting your zero center tape measure on your leaders and your bar that they the centers all match up exactly that will be the most helpful for you um, the other thing is that if you've marked your center of your leaders and you keep your zero center tape measure in center with those leaders in a perfect world it should all line up so if your quilt once your backing's on and your quilts in the middle your edges should stay the same as you advance so you don't necessarily need them for all three bars but some people like to have them on all of them there are other versions of the zero center tape measure that you can get where you can like lay it across your quilt top and it's got little pulley things and there's different things that you can do with that and that's fantastic if you want to have something up and on your quilt top. For me, I'm very visual so I love to just have it right in front of my face and I can gauge things as I go. I don't want to mess with a bunch of extra things as I'm quilting but everybody has their own 
kind of way of doing things. So you have to decide which ones that you like. If you like this Zero's Inner Tape Measure, you can get it on boldnotionquilting.com. Uh, we generally have them in stock, although with the way things are coming back in stock, bouncing back from COVID, sometimes we have them and sometimes we don't. So check it out. There's a link above. Um, if you like this tutorial, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. There's lots of free motion quilting tutorials and ruler work and all kinds of tutorials on the YouTube channel. And free, feel free to share. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Have a wonderful day, y'all. Bye.